What's up everyone, welcome to what I believe will be the finale to Amnesia the Machine for Pigs. So I didn't want to bring this up until I got a little later into the game, but somebody, Nate44 specifically, translated the poem. I think he actually said that his mom did like 98% of the work. So thank you Nate and Nate's mom. The poem itself though was really just reinforcing the theme of ritual sacrifice and how Ozzy apparently killed his kids by carving out their hearts. But what I think is really odd is that child in the poem isn't pluralized. I'll link the full translation that uh, that Nate sent me in the description, but one sec. I sense an opportunity, my first strike. Impeding these cogs with a large enough object should jam the flow of coolant causing a pressure buildup that will split the pipes and rupture the tanks and disfigure Mike's hand. Over and over again, it refers to my child and not my children. Like, sleep my child. Your heart is beating beneath my hand, something like that. That, and it seems to be the only note in German, which makes it seem really out of place. Unless it's some sort of famous German poem, in which case I guess it's, it kind of makes sense. But if it was written specifically for the game, the only German character that immediately comes to mind is Agrippa. Or wait, is Alexander from Germany? Or, well, you know what I'm talking about, because I'm not sure where the Dark Descent falls in history, or in time, compared to uh, the unification of Germany and all that. But I think Alexander might also be German, or from the area that would be Germany. So I wonder if this poem is less about Ozzy and Ozzy's kids, and more about Ozzy's relationship to either Agrippa or Alexander. Actually, I thought a couple notes referred to Alexander as his great uncle. So, uh, I don't know. Probably not. Probably is about Ozzy's kid, or kids, but food for thought. It would be really cool if the game had an eternal darkness style sanity system where random effects would occur at low sanity and one of them would be to change the language of text and subtitles in the game. That'd be something for Shadows of the Eternals to consider if that ever manages to successfully get crowdfunded. They've been through like would it, two or three different attempts at crowdfunding campaigns now. I wouldn't trust them with my money for a number of reasons that I'm not going to get into right now. But that's... I mean, the distrust for... was a precursor now? The former Silicon Knights team and Dennis Dyack. That distrust is... something they cultivated on their own, and it's probably why they're struggling so hard to get funded now. Whoa, that killed a pig down there. Can I move the barrels? No. Okay. E. God, do I have to make this jump? Oh, that hurt. I didn't make it good. This again? Oh, are we gonna do this every time? Oh, yeah, we are. Every time I flip one of those, I get paranoid that there's going to be a pig spawning in behind me. But no, the water's still electrified, so... Oh, that's what I'm doing here. I'm shutting off the electricity. Ow, what? Wait, what? What happened? Okay. What the, What? Why does that keep happening? I know you, machine. I know what you fear. I will rain excrement into your very soul. I will destroy you. You are too late, Mandus. My great works are almost begun. I will rain excrement into your soul. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. That sure is a sentence. Read this note real quick. And waste not, want not, for here the assorted slop and innards are sifted and sorted and enter the world through more channels and means than one could possibly conceive. 
the product passes by this section of the engine and is driven through the blade, splitting it into two sections ready for the butcher's block. And in the interim, it is kept on our freezer bays under the house, and the heat produced naturally by the refrigeration process feeds into the pipes and crannies of these rooms and is the very reason, my dear friend, that we can sit here in shirts and waistcoats but no jackets on a freezing winter's night without a fire on the grate and discuss our great enterprise. The warmth in our bellies and toes may be attributed directly to these bellies and toes even now passing through the steam, fire and blade beneath our feet. It's more details on the inner working of the machine and how it's fueled and how it functions. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The enormous geysers of blood. Whoa. That is a lot of blood. Aww. Walking away from those temples, that small pile of stones under the rhododendrons, the skulls of innocence under the loose clod, headless rib cages in the cool stone behind the altars, three thousand miles apart. I trace back my life to these to this instance. Rain channels eroded in ancient stone. The toxins are already in this damp, this falling water. I hack and retch and vomit into the sink and grasp the bowl with both hands and stare. There in the plug hole, as clear as day, a toy a toy spine, clockwork and intricate, like a child's spine. But clockwork. How could that be? How could a child's spine be made it like clockwork? I washed it carefully and placed it on the mantelpiece. On the mantelpiece, by the egg I laid myself under the garden, where the children's skulls are buried. I call it my Mexico. There's another reference to that egg. Thinking more and more that the egg is supposed to is supposed to be the orb. Sense it? Someone's screaming, help me? We are the pig. We are all the pig. Not you. I am the walrus. Yeah, nothing better to do on this long, boring climb down the stairs than to write solemnly to myself. Surprised I can't open the notes up on the ladder, though. It is critically injured now, I'm sure of that. It jeers no more. I feel it shudder around me, a wounded animal pressed flat to the ground. I feel it's afraid of me, and I hate it all the more, as I hate myself for unleashing it. My head pounds with blood, my teeth vibrate, I retch and burn with fever. I am an angel of death, descended to smother the firstborn for the death of the two that came after. Wait a minute. I'm the angel- I'm an angel- Ah! I am an angel of death, descending to smother the firstborn. For the death of the two that came after. That seems like it's related to what I was talking about with the note before not being pluralized. The other, uh, this heart poem. But how? I am here again, at the foot of those stairs. Towards the red light of the nursery. Sunset in the window like a bleeding sky. The horizon a slit throat. The seeping dark to drain the guilt from us. I am the jaguar-faced man. I am the feathered serpent. This priesthood is mine. The jaguar-faced serpent and the feather, the or the jaguar-faced man and the feathered serpent are more Aztec references. The jaguar-faced man is, I believe, an Aztec warrior, and the feathered serpent is a reference to uh, Quetzalcoatl. God, is it eating someone? It looks like it. Whoa! Look at the. Look at the blood waterfall. Blood ocean. I can meet him, your great engineer. How marvelous. I must say, Mr. Manders, my excitement is almost unseemly. Yes, I can see that. Step this way, Professor. I will be right behind you. Manders. Manders, where the devil are you? I can't see a damn thing. Mander! We are the pig. 
Professor. We are all the pig. That middle stained glass is a pig-faced priest holding up the heart of a pig to the sun, like the Aztec ritual I was talking about. I know a little bit about Aztec mythology, not too, too much, and this game is clearly heavily influenced by it, so this is all making me really want to go out and read up on Aztec mythology. I feel like there's a lot in the game that I'm missing out on. Uh, the only myth that immediately comes to mind that kind of mirrors what we're getting here in the Dark Descent, or uh, Machine for Pigs, that I know a decent amount about is the, the myth about Quetzalcoatl and how he wanted to create a new sun. I climb in stillness now. Blue water runs in my veins, now I am clean. I carry the knife of this factory, the bowl of this mill. I am come to collect you from your fields and your furnaces. I will gather you into the white clouds. I will gather you to me, and I will take you home. That passage about carrying the knife in the bowl of the mill sounds a lot like what I was just about to talk about. Which is a freaky coincidence. Uh, I was gonna tell the myth about Quetzalcoatl wanting to create a new sun because the other four suns, um, uh, how did it go? Because the other four had been wiped out according to the myth. So he journeys underground into the Aztec underworld where he finds the bones left over from the extinct uh, races of humans past. So he cuts himself and pours his blood onto the bones to revive them, and he creates a new and that creates a new sun to govern the new race. Also, there's corpses back there with the chests carved open and the heart cavities exposed. Were those supposed to be the bodies of Edwin and Enoch? They looked a little big to be kids, especially compared to the models that we've seen of Edwin and Enoch, but that would make sense. That would make a lot of sense. The veil lifts. The bride is waiting. Round up some orphans and the world will thank you for it. Disappear a whore and a gentleman applauds you. Cull a beggar and a lady walks safely again. More of this twisted... for the greater good rationale. Hear me, Mandus. My gears are adjust. My steam is built. Soon I will spill that blue water and split the egg, the atom, my soul, and there will be a very great burning that we might make the world clean. Be proud, for this is your doing. Until you steeped me in the blood of your own, I was nothing but rotten architecture. You have made me, and I will make the world anew. I will split the egg, the atom, and my soul. So the voice is Ozzy. Ozzy's voice is... Or, I mean, his soul is fractured. And the egg is apparently the atom, so this makes the machine some kind of nuclear reactor? I get, That makes a lot of sense, because I found that note... Or, I mean, I, not the note. Um, that one... The... It was the fuel rod puzzle. Where you go down into the, uh what looks like Compound X, and you hear the Geiger counter noise. Then you already know all I would tell you. You already know what you've done, and what you must do now. Walking away from these temples, that small pile of stones beneath the rhododendrons, the skulls of innocence under the loose clod, headless rib cages. Have we read this yet, already? Headless rib cages cruelly torn asunder to expose their flowers in the cool stone behind the altars 3,000 miles away. No, it's just paralleling what the other notes said. I trace my life to this instant. Rain channels eroded in ancient stone. The toxins are already in this damp, this falling water. And in that instant, cradling my children's head in my palms, I knew my children's heads in my palms. I knew then I had to unbuild what I myself had constructed. Though even then it was little more than a sickening dream. 
This machine is ever mine, and it falls to me to redeem it and myself. So he... The, I, I, it still sounds like the orb, whatever he found in, in Mexico, in the temple, caused him to become very ill, which I guess explains the amnesia. And it also split his soul... Vacuum Eviscerators. Yeah, that also explains why the tone of the notes varies so wildly. Oh, the sausagery. Oh, these are all for different rooms, I guess. Scalding hoses. But why did you take my children? I, Mandus. Of all the blood we have spilled together, the first drops fell from your hands alone. Then I am damned for a filicide, and everything is lost. I just blink? What? No, really, what? Jesus Christ, what's going on down here? I'm concerned about all that screaming and slamming. And of course, because it's a horror game, we're going towards that. God, I don't... Not sure where this is leading. This looks pretty significant, though. This looks pretty important. Like a pretty important room. Ooh! What the fuck is that? Oh, it's teleporting to... That's not good. That is really, really not good. For a second I thought I wasn't going to be able to go in here. Okay, so it looks like... I just heard laughing. Like the sound of children laughing. It's always an unsettling thing to hear. Especially in this context. Is that it in the distance? No, that that was some kind of a machine I was looking at. Ooh! Startle me like that door. You should know better. What am I do? Bo? Where? What? Oh god, no. I'm blinking again. Oh my god, you know what? I know I've joked about Fontaine and him being the voice on the phone, but I was not expecting the Fontaine boss fight to show up here. That really took the tension away. Where are my plasmids at? Fontaine, you ruined the ending of Bioshock. Oh shit, he's guarding it. Come on, come over here. Get away from the machine. Thank you. Wonder if he can throw lightning bolts at me. A machine for Bioshock. Did that do it? Did it do anything? Back slowly out. Not exactly sure what that did, aside from let me progress. <laughs> Just seemed like it turned the lights back on. Light. The great enemy of lightning. The lightning pig creature. Oh shit. 
again. Mantis Processing Company. Electrogravitic Suppression. Gravitic Suppression? What? Suppressing gravity? Oh, what weird turn is this about to take? Blood, Mandis. We are steeped in blood, you and I. You wear me like a mask, and we will tear the future loose from the ribcage of the present. We will save them. We will save them all. Amongst the spirits. Normally, when they do a stage transition, it... Oh, now I see. <laughs> I was gonna say, this looks a little... Like the room we just came from, but no. Only to save you. Only to spare you. I would have given my soul to spare you this world and its loan. Where is this? Like, spatially, where? This is gigantic. Oh, my children. My children. What have I done? What have I become? And Ozzy built this within, what, like a couple months of returning from Mexico? The sheer scale of the architecture here is puzzling. I will put it right, my darlings. All of my wrongs will be righted. All of my sins washed clean. Sounds like he's starting to realize what he did. Or get a better grasp of it. So how do you make something like that right? Memories, they surface like bloated bodies rising to the scum of the Thames. I looked at them, covered in the blood of their dead mother, little piglets squalling in their swaddling. And my heart at once was filled with a great love and a consuming hate I could never have imagined. At that point, did my soul split, creating him? Was this the egg of my soul, the moment the great clock began to tick? Is the only path to redemption to join us together again, to make myself whole, to close the great circle and take that madman into my heart once more, and forgive him and myself as well? I love you, my darlings, and I am sorry. I am sorry for all I have done. I simply loved you all too much for this world. Mandus, put aside your misguided crusade and let me save them. You may hate me, Mandus, but I have seen the future, your 20th century, and let me tell you this, a far greater slaughter awaits you there. I seek to save the world by blood now, before millions fall beneath history, pushed under by blade, bullet, and gas. So, Ozzy's split personality has seen the horrors of World War One and Two and everything that comes after that came after those and he sees what he's doing as mercy killing as bathing the world in nuclear flame and wholly wiping everybody out before they can endure the pain and suffering of the wars that are to come in the 20th century Whoa, what the fuck? How... What? How did that happen? Oh, I don't like this. And the blinking again. Fuck. Nope. Nope, nope. Oh god. It's right behind me, isn't it? Oh no, it's right in front of me. Shit. Shit, which way do I go? Ooh, it doesn't matter now. And shut it behind me. Shut. Come on, come on, shut. Oh, he's right there. 
Woo! Got it. What? Again? What was that all about? Okay, so I can go up, or I can go... Let's try up first. I'm stuck on something. Won't let me climb. That's weird. That's really weird. It's odd. Guess I am going around here. The area looks like a giant circle. Oh, wait, what's this all about? This, this is also a giant circle. Can't open that. No ladder. Can't open. I'm seeing a pattern here. No ladder again. Not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. No ladder. Okay. I think this next one should be the very first. I yeah. Try it again. Yeah, it's letting me all the way up this time. That's weird. It wouldn't let me climb all the way up the first time. Maybe it wanted me to do a loop around for some reason. It's really arbitrary. What are these? What does it do? It's making my vision all distorted. Nothing. I guess I'll just keep touching them. Just rub them all over. Really trying to figure out what these are. Coming up pretty blank. I think that should be all of them. I have you now, creature. I will destroy you. Stop him! Stop him! Kill him! It is over. It is time to end this madness. Am I going downstairs now? I guess so. Is the ladder down? I can hear my heart beating in the background. Enoch, Edwin, Oswald, and I. Wait a minute. And I? What if I was playing as Lily the whole time? No, I think that's just referring to the two fragmented halves of Ozzy. That phrasing does make me wonder, though. Madness, listen to your heart. You built me up with me. You created me to save the world. I am your friend. This looks crazy evil. Wait, who is that in there? God, I wish there was a zoom button. I can't tell who that is. Looks like it has long hair. No, that might just be the liquid that's submerged in. Hmm. Shambling. Mandus, please. I am no more evil than you. We sought the same thing. To save humanity. Ridding them of their painful, stupid, pointless lives. Mandus, stop. Think about what you are doing. For your children, Mandus. Do not speak of my children, monster. I did not kill your children, Mantis. You sacrificed them in the temple steps, knowing what the coming century would do to them. Your sons will drown, lungs full of mud and shrapnel on the banks of the Somme. You wanted to save them from the horror to come. That is the vision we shared. Everything we have built to avert this coming nightmare. 
You and I are one. We are the same. Our souls are entangled. We deserve to make them free. The psalm was that he's referring to uh, was the Battle of the Psalm. It was one of the bloodiest battles in human history, and it was a battle that took place in France during World War One. It was something like a million casualties or something like that, or a million dead or wounded. It was a really horrific fight. Whoa, it's a giant Aztec pyramid. I have stood knee-deep in mud and bone and filled my lungs with mustard gas. I have seen two brothers fall. I have lain with holy wars and copulated with the autumnal fallout. I have dug trenches for the refugees. I have murdered dissidents where the ground never thaws and starved the masses into pain. A child's shadow burnt into the brickwork. A house of skulls in the jungle. The innocent, the innocent Manders trod and bled and gassed and starved and beaten and murdered and enslaved. This is your coming century. They will eat the Manders. They will make pigs of you all. And they will bury their snaps into your ribs. And they will eat your hearts. Are those Edwin and Enoch's hearts? Or are they orbs? Well, I, want to get, uh, I wanted to get a better look at those. Please, Manda Snow. For your children. Is this the mechanism that turns people into pigs? If so, what the heck? Is that what I'm doing to myself? How is this gonna help? Guess it's time to end it. Oh god, my kids are on either side of, the, of this thing. I lay there and watched the god I had created die. At the end, when we were cold as the stone we had hewn his body from, when the lights were nearly all extinguished, we heard, in the silent distance, the man-pigs singing to one another. Then, as the last lights were gone, and we lay together in the deep, they drifted away, and all was silent. Such a silence I have never known. And as the dust settled on my open eyes, and we lay together embraced forever, I heard, miles above us, the sounds of the city turning over in its sleep. A church bell ringing out. And in that moment, the new century was born. The phrase, a new century was born, makes me rethink the egg yet again. 
as being a metaphor for the for the new year, the coming of the new year, and the the metaphorical birth of the new century. There's a lot of things that you can probably interpret the egg as being. So that is a machine for pigs, guys. I hope you enjoyed the playthrough. I certainly enjoyed doing it because the game is really, really interesting. In spite of my problems with the lack of me uh, with the lack of mechanics, I still really liked it. And let's be clear, I'm not mad that the mechanics were removed just because it's different or just because there's less to do. I'm more upset with the decision because I genuinely believe that the loss of those interconnected systems from the Dark Descent weakens the tension and the horror aspect of it. It's not just because, oh, they're simplifying it for the casuals or bullshit like that. Uh, I don't care about simplifying it if things are pared down for a good reason, but it's not, in this case, better for having taken a hacksaw to the systems which, which worked, or at the very least had a lot of potential to work well. Despite this, though, I don't want to end on a down note. I still believe I got my money's worth. It is weaker mechanically than the Dark Descent, and the lack of mechanics does hurt, but it has a lot of charms going for it. Jessica Curry's soundtrack, as I've said over and over again, is immaculate. I've been absorbed in Pinchbeck's writing from the, ga uh, from the get go. I love the art direction. The imagery has been terrific. It's been a lot more disturbing. The game, and. You know, it might sound like I've been really down on the horror elements of the game. It has given me some good scares, though. It is flat out not as scary as The Dark Descent. If you're going into it hoping for that, then I can see why some people would leave disappointed. It's still, despite that, a pretty tense, pretty scary game. It's still managing to execute on the tension most of the time. So the minimal gameplay mechanics don't bother me as much with that in mind. There's enough here stimulating me that I'm okay with all of it. On its own merits, I really, really like Machine for Pigs, but at the same time, it's not what I necessarily wanted from an amnesia game, necessarily. So it comes down to managing expectations. If you want more amnesia, I can see it being disappointing. If you ignore the name and judge it on its own, on its own merits, it is solid. And you know, I've been saying I don't quite know what's going on or how to take this or that or I'm not following this. Unraveling this has been a little bit confusing, more so than a little bit. Some of the plot beats I called, but for the most part, I've struggled and I love that. It's not a bad thing at all. I love not having a full grasp of everything the first playthrough and not immediately understanding and having to work at interpreting and I love having that wiggle room and being able to play with theories and figure out what it all means to me like i love having to parse all of that information and not having it be easily easily understood it may have come off as me knocking the game for not being clear or not for, or for not being clearly written but i think that's only because games that approach ambiguity like this are usually they usually execute it poorly it's more that things in in most cases it's more that things just don't make sense it's that they're badly written, but here with Pigs, it's handling ambiguity really well, and I love that. Uh, Pinchbeck is really good about combining atmosphere, the kind of prose that I like, and strong narratives while leaving the good kind of ambiguity in. And I'm becoming a really big fan of his. I might go back and play uh, Corsicovia, and there was one other that I was talking about during Dear Esther that the Chinese room had made that I still can't remember the name of, the bottom line, though, is I think if it wasn't called Amnesia, a machine for pigs, and if you took out the allusions to the Dark Descent, like you took out the references to the Brennenberg elixir and to Alexander and all that, there would be very few complaints. I mean, you would get the normal, oh, but this isn't a video game crowd, who I've gone through that argument at the beginning of Dear Esther. The praise that Dear Esther got would be, completely dwarfed by people flipping their shit over how good this is and it probably wouldn't be drawing nearly the amount of heat that it has because people wouldn't expect to be as scared going into it because people are expecting the dark descent too it's been a pretty polarizing game it, and i think it's largely based around that fact the fact that it's called amnesia a machine for pigs like anything good it's still got its flaws, but 
it more than makes up for all of its flaws by being really absorbing, really interesting. And I, what's rare about this is I don't feel like the ending completely sucked. I don't feel like the ending left me unsatisfied. I, I still feel left hanging a little bit, but that's more because of the ambiguity and less because I don't feel like there's any closure to be found. Uh, it's the kind of thing that I don't know if I can even have a really well-formed opinion of until I go back through everything and try and really hammer everything out, which I really intend to do. Because, again, it's... If nothing else, it's really interesting. But I think I've said everything that I need to say for the time being. With Machine for Pigs now done, and Dark Souls about to wrap up in a few more episodes, the next Let's Play that I'm going to be doing, let's put it this way. I will see you guys in Silent Hill. Thanks for watching everyone, as always. If you like this video, this whole playlist, make sure to hit the like button as often as possible. Comment, always like interacting with you guys in the comments. Subscribe, of course. And of course, go to my channel and check out the other videos, the other playlists. There's tons of stuff. There is Dark Souls, there's Limbo, there's Dear Esther, there's, there's Dead Space Extraction. There's a whole bunch of stuff. There's Bayonetta, of course, Demon Souls, both of which are pretty popular on the channel. If you like some more informal, comedic stuff, I do a lot of uh, playthroughs with my good friend Mike. They tend to not be as informative, but they make up for that by being a lot funnier. And if you want playlists for those playthroughs, uh, you can check out the Osiris Wrath playthrough. Banjo-Kazooie, Mike did. He 100 percent of that. Alan Wake, Shadows of the Damned. We are currently on the, uh, I believe it's the 11th year playing through uh, L.A. Noir, I, I might be a little bit mistaken on that. Some, something like 11 years into that game. Thank you guys for watching. Take it easy, have a good one, and again, see you guys in Silent Hill.